Quarantunes. I sat at the keys mid-quarantine, preparing there to write a song. To entertain the church's youth, to help the weary days along. I'd run clean out of good ideas for topics about which to sing. I needed something relevant. Then I cried out, I've just the thing. I'll not sing about procrastination, nor indeed my plunging stocks. I have instead, for inspiration, the humble Kellogg's Cornflakes box. Corn's the main ingredient with 88%. Then sugar and then salt and then some barley malt extract. Vitamin E, niacin, vitamin B6, riboflavin. And then folate and iron and zinc oxide Contains cereals containing gluten May contain traces of peanuts and or tree nuts. Rather chuffed by my discovery of a raw, authentic, jaunty theme, I swiftly snatched my fountain pen and began to draft a rhyming scheme. And then arose a charming twist. As sat at my piano bench, I noticed yon ingredient list was printed also there in French. Ingrédient ne quatre vingt huit personnes. Sucre puis et sel aussi. Extrait de malt d'orge Vitamin E Niacine Vitamin B6 Riboflavine Et puis folate Fer Et oxyde Contient de céréales contenant du gluten peut contenir des traces de cacahuètes et au noix d'arbre. Sadly, French and English lists alone were printed on the side. If only more variety of speech was there for me to try. Like Ainu, Georgian, Zapotec. But no matter how afar I seek, though Deutsch Mice Flocken might be found, no serial ships in ancient Greek. But when, of a morning, you sit down, with breakfast bowl and mug of tea. Consider well your cornflakes box. Ah, Monsieur Kellogg, merci. <laughs>